So, I just want to be really honest about what's going on today. Um, I am having a tough day as far as depression goes because I'm starting to feel like I'm a burden to everyone. And there's people who don't understand when I'm feeling depressed and they don't like... I don't know, it's like they say that I shouldn't let things get me down and I shouldn't let things get to me, but if you have depression, then you know that it's way easier said than done. Like, you can try to stay positive all you want, you can try to not let things get to you, but depression is really difficult to deal with. And I feel like ever since I've been in the hospital and, you know, been dealing with all of these issues that I never asked for and I don't want to deal with, you know, it's like, I feel like I'm at my wit's end and I feel like, you know, having these health issues is making people not want to be around me, making people not want to associate themselves with me, and whether that's actually true or not, I don't know, but I definitely feel like I've lost friends since being diagnosed with MS. Um, people who were there for me, you know, or, you know, if I posted something about having an issue or trying to find somebody to be like a support system, then everybody comes out of the woodwork and says, oh, you know, you have me. Why do you say that you need friends when you have me? But when it comes down to it, you're not actually there for me. So, like, when I need somebody to cry with or when I need somebody to just be there and support me and say, it's going to be okay, you know, we can do this together, you're not there. So... I don't know, like I'm not trying to make this a negative video, but I just want to be honest about what I'm feeling because I know there are people who watch my videos who struggle with depression and anxiety and there's people who have chronic illnesses and when you have a chronic illness, it makes things more difficult to deal with. Um, it makes people look at you differently and it just feels like everything is against you sometimes because you're struggling so hard to try to leave a lead a normal life but then you end up like having to deal with all these things that other people you know don't have to go through on a regular basis or you know it's people that might not ever have to go through the things that you're going through like there's a lot of people who don't understand how I could end up in the hospital not being able to move the right side of my body and they'll never have to go through that, you know, and I can't really fault them for not understanding how it feels to be feeling alone when you're in the hospital dealing with things like that because they, you know, it's not really their fault because you couldn't understand something like that unless you had gone through it yourself. So I get it, but it's just like, I feel like chronic illness in general is such a lonely thing to go through. And it's like, you don't know who you can talk to about these things because I feel like I don't really want to talk about it because then people feel like I'm complaining and then they tell me that I should be grateful that I'm still alive and that, you know, I'm able to get up in the morning and do certain things for myself and you know, that I have an apartment to live in and that I have, you know, life another day. But there are days when I just wake up and I'm in so much pain that I don't really want to deal with the day. I don't want to get up because, you know, it sucks having to constantly go through this illness that makes you feel like a prisoner trapped in your own body sometimes. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. You know, I try to do certain things to keep my mind off of it. I listen to music, you know, watch movies, watch Netflix, whatever. But sometimes those things just aren't a good enough distraction 
You know, they don't help me not think of what's going on. They don't help me as far as, you know, trying to be positive. They don't help me enrich my life in any way. And, you know, sometimes the pain is just too much even when I'm doing those things to try to distract myself. I just feel like people don't understand where I'm coming from or they think that I'm exaggerating my symptoms, you know, to try to get attention. And I absolutely hate that people say that. I have never exaggerated my symptoms to get attention. You know, it's just... It's ridiculous. I don't understand why somebody would want to constantly be in and out of the hospital, constantly have to be at the doctor's office, constantly going through all these issues where I'm struggling trying to just lead some semblance of a normal life and yet I'm being accused of exaggerating illnesses to get attention. I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm feeling frustrated. And, you know, I don't want this to come off as me complaining because, again, you know, oh, I should be, I should be happy that, you know, I'm alive. Some days it just sucks. Some days you just want somebody to be there to talk to and talk through what you're feeling and some days you don't feel good. I mean, this is true for anybody whether you have a chronic illness or not. Some days you just want somebody to be there, to be a shoulder to cry on, to talk to who understands and isn't going to judge you for how you feel or, you know, I just feel like people don't look at me the same since I've been diagnosed with MS. People don't want to connect with me in the same way and, you know, it's just frustrating because I don't know who I can trust anymore and I just feel like I'm out here alone. And dealing with this alone like my family doesn't understand I haven't told everybody in my family so that's probably not really a fair statement for me to make but the people who I have told don't really understand or they don't want to accept the fact that I have MS so like I said I just I don't really have a support system other than you guys who I talk to and I have some people who will comment back with supportive things and other people who just l like the video um people who follow me on instagram who will like you know my posts or um, message me on my stories but you know it's like an in-person connection is also important you know i wouldn't say it's necessarily more important because a connection is a connection and at least knowing that I have people who understand somehow um, makes it a little bit easier for me to know that somebody's there, you know, with a listening ear who is supportive. But um, this was kind of just me venting about feeling like a burden and people not understanding how it feels to have a chronic illness that does not have a cure and that is going to progress to me probably needing to be in a wheelchair um, or being bed bound eventually and it just really sucks that I don't have somebody who you know can be an in-person support network or support system somebody to just be supportive and I'm really struggling right now. So thank you guys for the support that you provide. It is definitely much appreciated. And I will talk to you guys again soon.